Hi, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper, and this is our third video on the grass cloth wallpaper installation. So we're about to hang our first sheet, and um, hanging wallpaper is basically uneventful, except for a couple of things like cutting around things. We have an accent wall, there's really nothing to cut around. There are some logistics that are interesting, so I provided them on the last video. And this is the last interesting thing I think you should know. And that is how to hang the first sheet. So I bought this product. Uh, now if you hang wallpaper, you really should do something to protect the ceiling of the customer, okay? So let me just show you this product. I, I don't support this product, by the way. It's okay, I'm just using it. Um, you could just hang plastic, but this actually is quick. It has the plastic on the, uh, the tape already. So it's a good thing. So here's what I would do. Uh, wallpaper glue comes off of ceilings and everything else, but it doesn't, it doesn't always come off uh, perfectly. I'm painting this ceiling, but I'm still gonna protect the ceiling from, from the uh, glue because I don't want wallpaper residue glue, wallpaper glue residue on the, on the ceiling. So rather than do the whole ceiling at once, I'm going to do it piecemeal. And why is that? Well, I'm afraid of tape on paint. A lot of painters cheat <clears throat> in corners, okay? Painters, tapers, uh, guys who finish sheetrock, what you'll see is when you have a place primed, they don't always prime in corners because it takes time to get into corners. So over the years I've learned that the most vulnerable points on your ceilings and walls are the corners. And why is that? Because sometimes the only layer of paint that you have there is the color that you're looking at in, in a new construction job. And you know what happens if you don't have a primed corner? you pull the paint off with some of the plaster, and then you got a repair to do. But, we happen to be in a very high-end home right now. So, I'm going to take the chance and cover my ceiling with this plastic strip. It's easier to do with a hand masker, but um, you may not have that tool handy. There with me. Hold on, you know what? I'll just roll it right from right off the tape. I'm a lefty, so it's a little difficult for me. I have to kind of do it backwards, which I don't mind. It's really easier like this. You'll see the benefit of this product once you open it up. Believe me, it's worth it when you're maneuvering wallpaper and you have glue on the ceiling. Well now, how do you get that off? You can wipe it off, but I'm telling you, it doesn't come off that easily, especially after it starts drying. You know, they should perforate this stuff. Okay, here we go. They should perforate it every 12 inches or so. All right. Seems to be a little more trouble than it's worth, but actually it's worth the trouble because when you have a stain from uh, clear glue, it's not a stain, it's, it's a shadowing. It's, it's really, it's unprofessional. See now, I can hang my paper and I can get glue on this. I don't have to worry about the person's ceiling, okay? In fact, I mean, I didn't even think it was gonna stick like this. This wasn't part of the intended video. But, um, so, so there you go. I mean, I guess static electricity is keeping it up, but I wouldn't rely on this. I would tack it up with some tape, but it's a benefit because now I'm protecting the ceiling and I look like a superstar. Oh.
No, that's all right. It'll still keep uh, video. It'll still keep video. So, so let's just do another piece, and then we're going to hang. I just want to show them the uh, making sure that my viewers get a good idea of how to hang the first sheet of wallpaper. I've done videos like this before, but not recently. And so, as we move along, we improve our procedures. And this is one of them I've never demonstrated in any of my videos. This is great stuff, but you, when you entangle it, throw it out and take a new sheet. It's not worth the time that it takes to untangle it. see it does a great job I really don't know how that's sticking onto the ceiling but I'll take it okay so now here's what I wanted to show you in the video the second most important thing which is hanging the first sheet okay remember your hands when you're dealing with grass cloth they must be clean and dry and certainly not have any glue on them second thing aside from that little trick up there protecting your ceiling is Keep your, uh, your top part marked. I have a piece of tape here. If you put too much tape, it might rip off the backing of the wallpaper. So don't put too much tape on it. You have to have a level handy or a laser level. And my level is handy. I will use it after I get this thing attached to the wall. Also, you may want to use the, uh, the plastic to protect the wall on the left or the right on your final pieces. Now you hold on tight to the top because it's gonna fall and put some pressure on the middle of the wall cover. Okay, so you don't want it falling out of your hands. Now, I'm holding my wallpaper up to my, my tape line. And so this is generally where I want the wall covering to, to fall, right about there. Now I've got glue on my hands. I gotta be mindful of that. So we don't want that on the wall covering. I'm gonna wipe my hands. And the only other thing, I want the cameraman to come right behind me so that our viewers can see how this first sheet is going to be put into position and finalized. This was my tape. This is telling me, when I planned it out, where my first sheet should fall. Okay, so. Okay, so I know my bottom has to come out here. All right. Again, I got glue on my hands. You wanna get that off. Hanging uh, grass cloth. If you're a professional and you're just starting out, you gotta charge more money. This takes more time, a lot more finesse, but the results are beautiful. in place Again, one last time. Perfect.
Now, look at the beauty of this wallpaper. Now, as a professional, one of the benefits is you don't get air bubbles. You don't have these trapped air pockets. As you can see, this is a natural product. The air comes in and out of it, although it has a backing, but you're not going to get the problems that you would have with vinyl or something else like that. There you go. I'm going to use my smoother, smooth it out. That's how we make a straight line. That's how we plan it out. I don't want to deal with the difficult piece over here. I'm not ready to cut it in the corner yet. For that, we're going to use a steamer. We're going to heat up the wallpaper with a, a steamer so that we can bend it into the corner. And then, and then we'll do a video on that. So if you like the video, click on like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.